Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of April 5th to the 11th, and we're starting off on Portland Avenue, a roadway that could see some changes. A multimodal corridor study is being carried out to consider converting Portland Avenue into a safer, more bike and pedestrian friendly roadway. One idea is repurpose the two lanes in each direction to one lane in each direction with a two way left turn lane down the center. There would also be bike lanes, which would require removing on street parking. Data was collected in February and an open house was held in March. Now, city staff is developing a couple different plans to present to the public and council. The two things that are really driving this study is the multimodal needs on the corridor and the potential for safety improvements, especially at the signalized intersections of 90th Street and 86th Street. Amy Marone says protected left turn lanes and fewer lanes of traffic would accomplish those goals. Once a few options are developed, a second open house will take place in May and plans will hopefully be submitted and approved by council this summer. The project will coincide with an overlay project already scheduled for 2018 by Hennepin County. A changing landscape doesn't end here on Portland. Parks like this one here will see improvements following the approval of site plans for more than a dozen city parks. Here's a map of the parks on the list for upgrades. Many of these playgrounds were built in the early 90s as part of a bond referendum. The 25-year-old play areas are in need of a renovation, according to Parks and Rec staff. 14 playgrounds and several courts are set to be upgraded, 16 projects total. All of the projects are planned for 2017. We hope as soon as spring arrives that we're hitting the ground running and by November we've got all of them wrapped up with maybe some leftover work for 2018. No exact dates have been set for construction. The money to renovate the areas is coming from several sources including charter bonds approved by the city council. From parks to public works coming up you'll have the chance to climb inside a snow plow and go for a ride at the public works open house this year's event will be on may 20th from 9 to noon inside the public works building it will be in celebration of national public works week families can visit to find out things like where their tap water comes from how snow plows work and what equipment is used to maintain parks on top of equipment displays and demonstrations, snacks will also be provided. The event is free and open to everyone. Another event open to the public. Fair for All is coming to Creekside Community Center where shoppers can save up to 40% on groceries. Fair for All is a cooperative food buying program and there are no qualifications or income restrictions. Shoppers will find packages of fresh fruit and veggies, as well as frozen meat items. April's Hot Buy is a two-pound package of cooked roast beef for $5.50. That's limited to two per household. Fair for All is April 19th and runs from 11 a.m. to 1. That is the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of April 5th to the 11th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find this week's edition of the Verbrugge View, where city manager Jamie Verbrugge learns what tree trimming is all about. There's also a video sharing the story behind a PSA created by Olson Middle School students and the city. Check those out and thanks for watching.